What's poppin' and welcome back to another episode of Fletcher the Fisherman, guys. Today, back here with the boy, Fisher Yin, on the twin troller. And today we're gonna go out and try to catch these fish on a variety of ways. They've been chasing the shad like crazy. So we have a bunch of stuff tied on. We got a bunch of crankbaits, some 5XDs, some jerk baits, and then most importantly, guys, I am throwing something that I don't normally throw, something a little ambitious after we catch a few fish. I'm looking for a giant today, guys, and that is a giant swim bait. We're gonna try to catch some big fish throwing this big guy right here. And I'm really excited to attempt to catch a fish on this. The last time I threw that thing, in this particular body of water. I had some success with it. I caught like a like a two pounder on it first cast, which was kind of crazy, considering it's like a seven inch bait. And then I ended up catching an even smaller fish that was like one and a half pounds. And then finally, but not least, I hooked up with a really big one. I think it was you know probably somewhere in that like five and a half to six pound range, but it came off like right at the boat. Like I was trying to flip it in and the twin troller can be kind of awkward to boat flip like comparatively to like a, a bass boat or something with a little bit more space. So I was trying to like boat flip it and I just like couldn't get a, like a good angle on it. Uh, so it, it ended up getting it off on me, but that is okay. Today we're on a mission and I got some assistance this time just in case we do hook a big one. Did we bring the net? The net? I was literally looking, I was looking around, I think we left the net. But, uh, uh, so, um, hopefully that does not come back to bite us. But with all that said, guys, I do want to let you know that if you use code FTF10 on StrikeKing.com, you can save yourself 10% on all your louvers across the board. And then you can also use code FTF on Lose's website and save yourself free shipping for everything on there as well. And finally, but not least, if you're interested in the Twin Troller, I made a review video, a discount code, all that stuff will be linked down in the description below. So feel free to check that out. But without further ado, I believe it is time to hop in the boat. So let's go fishing. Here goes nothing, guys. We are on a big fish mission today. I do want to pick up this crawl really quick. Ryan, uh, can you slow us down just a second? I'm gonna flip this one spot. There is a little structure spot. I honestly could have just fished it from the dock, but it is right here on the end of this dock. There is something down like right about here. I don't know if he's still there. I caught him. <laughs> Ryan, caught, Ryan caught a fish here earlier while we were filming some other stuff. So I'm hoping that I'll have another chance at catching a fish here. It wasn't too long ago. Well, I just heard some fish splashing over here. No luck on that spot. Um, I want to try flipping this point really quick on this bend. We heard splashing. I don't know if that was bass or not though. No luck with that. That is okay. I just wanted to try this quickly. But besides this guys, I do want to get started with this 5XD that I have tied on down here. Let me go ahead and grab that. There we go. We're gonna kind of head over towards this area down here. Me and Brian were just kind of like going around on the golf cart earlier, trying to film some like short form content and things. And we found this area where all the shad is balled up and there's just a ton of fish and a ton of activity. So I think we're gonna head that way and do a little bit of cranking. And I think if those fish are still hanging out and behaving the way they were, we should be able to get on them pretty quick. I literally just got a bite. <laughs> First cast with this thing, just a random cast. Let's go, let's just go straight over there. Very good. You got one? <laughs> really? Your, big one? Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that is a big one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I wish we had a net because we got treble hooks. Oh, that was your first cast? Holy smokes, that's like a four pounder. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What in the world? Oh gosh, mama. Let's go. Let's go. Maybe not quite four, but yeah, he's skinny, but <laughs> it's looking like a good quality fish. Looks like we're in the right area. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel bad when uh, when they eat it and they're just like super, super skinny. It's like, dang, man. man Sorry. I could help you out. <laughs> I just want to keep like a bucket of shad to, it, to give, yeah, give all of them a shad to go. <laughs> <laughs> we can take a few cranks around here if you want, or we can go right over to where all that shad was. I think we'll have a lot more luck down there. That could have been just the luck of the draw there. Mm -hmm. We can always come back if we don't have success there. All right, it's hard to slow down a little bit. 
Oh, look, look, right up ahead. Yeah, yeah. Just slow. You gotta go slow. Just ease in. Go out a little bit. All right, let's start here. Pulling up to this area where we had some success earlier, just fishing from the bank and saw a lot of action around this dock and out in this bowl. There should be a good amount of fish in this area that will eat these cranks. There's one. Oh, sorry. Double up. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, you got a good one? Pretty big. You got a good one? Uh, yeah. Like big, big? Um, like you need some assistance, big? Oh! Yeah. <laughs> nice, like high two pounder. Let's go. Um, I got a, the dink. I'm gonna like pass it out there again. They're, they're just loaded up here. There's some That's fish in the area. <laughs> like the bite just feels a little weird. Did you just get another one? No. There's so many bass around this dock right now. Like the bait is just stacked. There's one. Oh yeah. Is that fish or I'm on the dock? I'm on the dock. I will take it. <laughs> Two oh, bass, one lure. That's the spot. I think it's the juice hole. Uh -huh. Ooh, what did I tell dude, you? Dude, that what was huge. You? That was huge, dude. That was huge. That bass was ginormous. I told you. My line snapped on the on the dock. It got frayed. That dude, that was like a six plus pounder. I'm not even kidding. Now that thing's in his mouth. That sucks. <sighs> Hold up, we're we're breaking out the big gun. Big yes. One the second. The that was a huge fish. That sucks. Did I just, it just went. Mm -hmm. I heard you lying. No luck on this thing. We're gonna go back to this later. I just wanna catch a few more on the 5XD, man. Oh my gosh, that was, oh, that was a really big fish, guys. And I always feel bad. You know, it sucks losing a big fish, but it sucks even more when you snap off on a big fish. I hate to leave that lure in his mouth, but that, you know, dog piling cut this thing somehow. That's just part of the process. So I guess we're gonna have to dive into this box and get ourselves another 5XD out of here. Got what we needed. Let's get this tied back on. Rig back up. Let's get back in here and make some cast. Oh, goodness, guys. They're just eating. Make sure your paws in there. Oh, dude, my crankbait. Oh, my crankbait. Hey. The fish got the fish got loose. Look at that. that <laughs> Look at that. Thank goodness he got loose. But there is literally my crankbait that I just snapped off on a fish. What in the world? There it is. There's uh, my crankbait, and it's still got the line attached. Let's see how far down this thing got cut. <laughs> look at that all the way up here cut right on wow. that dock sheesh thank goodness uh that big fish was able to shake this free i, I wish he actually came up and shook it that way we could have seen him yeah. but uh that i can i can rest easy tonight knowing he's uh, gonna live just fine let's clip that and put that right here and <laughs> let's get back to it that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's and a, how did it end up on this side? I don't know. He must have swam this way. I want to switch things up. We know there's some fish up against this dock. I've hooked a few, lost a few, all that good stuff. And the bite is seeming to slow down a little bit. Maybe they're just used to this 5XD getting fired through there by both of us. So let me switch gears over to a jerk bait and try that. It is you know, about officially jerkbait season, it's starting to cool off, you know. You can definitely throw these during the summer, but I like to throw them this time of year a lot. Let's see if they're... <laughs> and I think I tangled it, yep. Good start, good start. Besides like a lipless and a square bill. Up. 
one. You got one. You got one on the jerk bait. Fine, pretty good. Get him away from that dock. Oh, he's stuck on the dock. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I was trying to keep him off of it and he ran and somehow got himself. He's on there good though. Is he still on there? Yeah, he's on there. Oh, he came oh, off, he came off, he came off, he came off. <laughs> Let's go. Got one on the jerk, mate. Spank that thing. Let's go. Now comes the fun part, getting three treble hooks out of him. My least favorite part about jerkbait fishing. <laughs> Let's go. But <laughs> that was pretty funny. He ran into like the, the rubber bottom of that dock. And I guess one of those treble hooks got stuck on it, but it came off, thankfully. Thankfully, the fish did it. Nice little large jaw. Thanks, bud. I'm gonna put this jerk bait up for a minute. I still wanna wait just a little bit before I fully commit myself to throwing that big swim bait. I wanna try throwing this little T-rig rage bug around that dock for a minute. See if I can't get anything that's just kinda hanging out there on the bottom. Definitely a lot of bait pushed up on this dock, a lot of bass with that bait. And they kind of have just kind of turned off after we put some pressure on them. But I'm sure there's still plenty more down there that are willing to bite something. It's just a matter of what and a matter of when. So I think if we just kind of keep changing what we're throwing in here, we can get a few more bass to bite. He's got a little size to him. Regardless, I'm not going to judge fish. Fight size, fight size, fight. Oh, I got one. Right. <laughs> it's a double? This is a double. <laughs> it's a double. That fish was running right at me. Gosh, I was like trying to get up the slack uh, just so I could <laughs> get him in the dang boat or, you know, get a good hook set on him. Cheers. 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 Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness gracious, guys. He, he picked that thing up and just started running straight at me. I'm like trying to like get this line up without spooking him or janking or, you know, jerking it out of his mouth and be able to get enough in where I could get that hook set. There we go. There it is. Double trouble. Thanks, Jimmy. Whee! Yeah. Oh, we got another one. No way. Oh, gosh. Dang, they're all coming right at me. <laughs> I can't get a hook set on them. <laughs> I mean, they just coming right at me full throttle. Well, I think we fished this dock out. We're going to make a long run to another area where we think some shad might be stacked up. Try a little bit of cranking, then we're going to whip out that big swim bait and give it a go. See if we can't find ourselves a big old Donkosaurus. down here, so if we yes. go ahead and just work the crank right over it, it. Yeah, it's like a ridge. I think we can just run these things over the top of it and bounce them, and it looks like there might have been some rocks on it, possibly. And just try to get a reaction straight from bouncing this thing on it. I don't know if it's holding any fish. But there's a chance that it could be. Oh, yeah, I just felt that ridge. Yep. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's a decent one. Right. Oh, yes. Yeah. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Uh, yes. <laughs> Putting the electronics to use right there, guys. Uh, there was just like weird ridge that we drove past that I had never seen before out here because I hadn't had like the proper electronics to do so and i finally have this new transducer on here and nice, chunky one. and it's a lot clearer than what i had in the past and what i've been able to fish out here with and it looked very tempting to throw a crankbait on and sure enough second or third cast on it i bumped off some rocks right on the ridge where i saw it and got a nice reaction strike oh, let's go go back in there so it's actually the next day now, guys. We kind of got run off by the rain before I got the chance to throw that big swim bait. So we decided to come back out and try actually a different little lake in attempts of catching some big old bass on the swim bait. This is a lake I definitely think I'll have a good shot 
of catching something significant in size. You know, hopefully some three, four, or five pounders, maybe something bigger than that. There's a lot of big bass in this lake. I'd say like the average size is like at least two and a half, three pounds. So there's some really good healthy fish in here. So we're about to get started with this big swim bait right here. So let's go ahead and get to it. Here goes nothing guys. Oh my gosh, Ryan's on, Ryan's on. We saw some fish blowing up over here. Oh, and no way, this is probably one of the smallest Whoa. caught out of here. <laughs> That's unexpected, Ryan caught a tiny one out of here. Yeah. Hey, you don't get too many small like, fish. It's actually more rare to catch a fish this size than, you know, some of the three, four, five pounders in here. Oh, God, I just got bit. I literally just got bit yeah. on this. First cast. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I did get hit. Some of these smaller ones just don't get it all the way in. Hey, that's a good name. Lingering largemouth. Lingering largemouth. Got a nice little ring to it. Yeah. Got one. Got one. No on this. No stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Grab that. Grab the net. Grab the net. Grab the net. Grab the net. Oh. On the big swim bait. I don't think it's a monster fish. <laughs> swim bait fish. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> I think that dude hit it on the fall while I was letting it get down. But there we go. That fish ate this monster swim bait, guys. We saw some shad busting over here. And I figured we'd come over here and give it a go. That thing ate this thing. It's literally like half the length of them. I mean, I don't even know if you can get that whole thing in his mouth. <laughs> That's wild, dude. Off she goes. First of hopefully a few big swim bait bass. Let's go. When I saw your swim bait in the water, I thought it was another bass for a second. <laughs> I can't tell you how many times I've been like fishing at a, like a pond or something mm -hmm. with a big swim bait and someone like, did you catch a fish? <laughs> I'm like, that's, that's my bait. <laughs> One key thing guys, when you're fishing with a big swim bait that has just like a big open hook like that, these things weigh so much. And if these fish come up, they can just swing their head around and that bait has a ton of leverage to just get flung right out of their mouth. So it's ideal if you have big heavy gear to just kind of winch that fish in. Don't really you know, give them a chance to pull back or fight super hard or come up. You just want to keep their head down, drive that fish down into the water and don't give them a, a chance to come up at all. And the faster you get them in, the better chance you're going to have of landing that fish because I promise you, once they start coming up swinging that bait a few times, it's going to come out after a few tries. letting me use your setup. Like yeah, I of course, man. I probably would have man. snapped off on my fishing <laughs> yeah. Floro. <laughs> yeah, you gotta check that. Oh, there's one on the big swim. Oh, 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 net, 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 net. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. No! No way! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> on the big swim bait, let's go! Give me something! Hold on, hold on. Oh, what? As I pulled out. Dude, check that out, let's go. Oh my gosh. Well guys, look at that big girl. She absolutely choked that thing on the big swim bait. <laughs> oh my god. My net gosh. job's getting better. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thank gosh your, your net job's yeah. we're gonna have to work on. I'm actually gonna roll a clip from a Ryan's video we filmed of him absolutely failing to land almost a six pounder for me a few days ago. Oh! No! No! no. Bro! 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 Get it! Yeah! No! Go on, Ryan! 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 Ryan, get the net! 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 Yes! Ryan! 
Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Looks like you're shaving your head, bud! Let's get her on the scale really quick. Five pounds, 13 ounces. Jeez, bro. A freaking megalodon right here. Me? That is a beautiful fish, guys. Just fat, healthy as can be. That's exactly what you want to see out of a healthy fish population. And it has honestly been a while since I've got one this big out of here. There's just a ton of like threes and fours and some of the bigger ones I've, you know, I've definitely caught them in the past. We just haven't caught as many in recent years. And to come out here, throw that huge swim bait and, you know, just be really patient while my dad and his buddy and his buddies and Ryan are all throwing stuff and catching fish and I'm just waiting for that one big bite. It finally paid off, guys. Look at that freaking fish. Let's go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get her back in. She's ready to go. We got her pictures. She is off to the depths. Good, Good release. Another day, hopefully. <laughs> That's awesome. Dude, you got one. Oh, no. <laughs> I had one. There was a fish on there. Oh, that's crazy. Whew. Man, guys, that gets me so amped up to, <laughs> to catch one on a big swim bait. I don't throw them like a whole lot, and I've been trying to get more into it. And now that I finally have like all the gear to properly throw it, no, I've tried to throw it on like a seven foot medium heavy fast, like a, an eight, nine inch swim baits before and just really pushing the, that gear to the limits. But now that I'm properly equipped, stuff, it's definitely something I'm gonna plan on doing a lot more because if you just stay patient with it and you know, really give it your all, it can be so rewarding. Got one? Yeah. Good one? Yeah, he's good. He's good. I'm trying not to smack you in the face with my rod. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Fletch, this would be good. Yeah, don't let him get stuck. Keep, keep him up, keep him up. Okay. You like... Fletch, mine is in Okay, okay, let me get over to that. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's really good. He's really good. He's good. Is like PB good? Yeah, here's a good one. Oh yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. Let's go. Dude, dude what did I just catch? Dude, is that PB? Dude, this is, is a, PB. a PB. This is a PB. Are you kidding me? Bro, this is a PB. Are you kidding me? Bro, this is a PB. No way. This is a PB. It no came way. out in the net too. No way. It came out in the net. That's a PB? That's a PB, bro. Wow, guys, that was just a day, man. Smashing PBs, catching big fish on swim baits. If you enjoyed this video, guys, make sure you drop a like and subscribe and please guys go check out ryan's channel he'll be posting a bunch of stuff from our collab over the next like week or two so hopefully y'all enjoy some of those videos and he's just making awesome content in general but as always guys fasten his passion peace out